Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to one of Ireland's most beautiful places, which is Achill Island. And we're gonna be visiting all six film set locations where the Banshee of Finisherne was filmed. And we are taking you with us. Let's go! What? <laughs> I'll have a sausage roll, please. Yeah. Are you the driver or the cook? Both. <laughs> So our first stop here in Ackill Island is this random castle that we find alongside the road. So right here is the castle and let's go explore it. So we've made it to Akil Island and we are going to be visiting the six locations where the Banshee of Inishirin was filmed and right here in Clockmore is the first location and JJ Devine's pub was located right here where the van is parked. After the filming was done they dismantled the pub and left it back to what it was looking like beforehand and now it's in its natural beauty and you wouldn't even know the film was here. So we've arrived to our second location which is the fork in the road where the statue of the Virgin Mary was located. Again they set that up for the film and they dismantled it after so only if you watched the film you would know that this is where the Virgin Mary was located in the film. It's only a couple of hundred meters away from the pub so they are right beside each other. So in the film it looks like this is a fork in the road but actually in real life that there doesn't go anywhere. It literally just goes to the edge of the cliff so <laughs> it's not a road. <laughs> So this spot right here is actually like my second favourite place in the island, not in Camp Beach, Kim Beach, but the white cliffs of Ashleam have nothing to be ashamed of because they are so beautiful and actually a tip if you come here is to come here for sunset because the light here during sunset is absolutely stunning. just left the white cliffs of Ashleam and now it's time to find our park up for tonight. We are going to go to Kim Beach and see if there's anywhere to sleep over there. Irish traffic jam part. I don't know how many we have found in this trip already. <laughs> Still has to go. Oh my god. <laughs> so we have made it to our park up here at Key Beach and this is probably our favourite place in Akil Island. We are right up here on top. The beach is behind us and Crohan is just to our left. So now it's time to get into the van, have a good night's sleep and tomorrow we'll see what we get up to. I love having an oven and a van. It's just so easy to go and so nice. We don't have the luxuries of having this here in Fergus. We usually refer to pizza in a pan. <laughs> Now it's time to go to bed, but we'd like to take a moment to thank this week's video sponsor, which is Levitex. The Levitex pillow is an engineered pillow made to optimize your sleep posture and make you feel more rested and pain free. So for someone like us that lives in a van, some days we drive for many hours or we can't stand up in the van, then we have to make the bed, we find ourselves in awkward positions throughout the day. So when we sleep with these Levitex pillows, that gives us a neutral rest in the spine, which then in turn optimizes our sleep posture. So these Levitex pillows aren't a memory foam pillow. Levitex uses its own patent formulated foam. In a normal memory foam pillow, your head sinks into it and it memorizes your shape of your head. Where the Levitex supports your head and doesn't memorize the shape of your head. So it gives you that better neutral rest in spine and optimizes your sleep. 
When we spoke to Levitex, we were blown away by how important your pillow choice is. We have been using the Levitex pillow for several weeks now and we can honestly say that they are fantastic and they have really helped our sleep. So Levitex have kindly given us a discount code for you guys. If you want to get £10 off one pillow, then use the code SHANANANY10 at checkout and this will give you £10 off one of your pillows. So now it's time to go and have a good night's sleep with Levitex. Good morning, we have woken up here in Keem Bay at Akil Island and we had an unbelievable night last night. We are the only ones here, we are parked up here on our own. There is a couple of vans down at the car park but there is signs saying no camper vans allowed so we just stayed up here but the wind last night was absolutely crazy. The van was shaking all night. We woke up at like 4am and I actually thought the van was going to take off from the cliff. It was so so windy but that makes camping even more enjoyable and we had such a nice night. So now it's time to get up, have some breakfast, continue with our day and go try find some more film sets of the Banshee of Indishiran. The wind here in Akil is absolutely crazy. Yeah. Last night the whole van was shaking. I was scared. <laughs> This here behind me is location number three. This is Column's house and behind me we have Kim Beach which is where many beach scenes were recorded and also the last scene of the film was recorded here. Column, why are you not talking to me? So we are just going for a wee walk here at Kim Beach and this is one of the best things about van life. We have the entire place to ourselves because you just wake up at these beautiful locations before anybody gets here. We have arrived to location number four which is Loch O'Corrimore Lake and this is where the cottage of Miss McCormick was located and also one of the tragedies of the film happens here. It's really hard to talk about the locations of this film without spoiling anything to anybody that hasn't watched it. So yeah, location number four, Miss McCormick's cottage and a tragedy happens here. Made it to location number five, which is Port Chain Harbour. This is where many things in the port happened and also the post office is located in here. It's really random because there's a boat here that says Mis Tres Flores, which means my three flowers in Spanish. So <laughs> I don't know why it does there. What are you doing down here, Carl? Yeah. Oh, don't be talking to me, Patrick. <laughs> As you can tell, Annie should be the one getting the Oscar because uh, she's just quite frankly, a brilliant actress. What can I say? After finishing exploring Portion Harbour, we made a quick 5 minute drive to the stunning Keel Beach. We parked up and cooked some lunch before hitting the road again. Let's go find location number six. Number six, the last one. <laughs> Just a 10 minute drive from Keel Beach, you will arrive at St. Thomas's Church located in Dugard. The church was built in the 1850s and is the location where all the masked scenes happened in the film. With this location, we have completed the six film sets of the film of the Banshee of Inishir. If you come to Akil Island, we highly recommend doing this little route, visiting all these locations, because it's really nice to see them in the film. If you ever come to Akil Island and want to do the tour of the film set locations for the Banshee of Inishir, we're gonna leave in the description a link to the Akil Tourism website where you can find the map with all of these locations. It's also against the sheep. <laughs> Look at Look. this! Only like an island. Traffic jams. So we were leaving Akil Island and we were looking for somewhere to sleep tonight. But Akil Island is too beautiful and we are going to spend another day at least here because it's just so hard to leave Akil Island. It's just so beautiful here. We've parked here at Kim Beach, the exact same spot as last night. We're just gonna make something quick to eat and go to bed and keep exploring the wild Atlantic way tomorrow.
morning. Good morning, so today is our second morning at Kim Beach and this morning we have this beautiful sunrise. We have just finished filming the last location where the Banshee of Inishirin was filmed for Ackle Tourism. So now, join away and let's go and explore more of Ackle Island. Let's go. This island is addicting. We can't get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to move on to somewhere else and we're like, well, Ackle is too nice. So we're staying here for another while. We were going to leave yesterday. And then we didn't. Then we got a job. And now uh, we were going to leave today, but now we might because God knows what will happen. <laughs> Akel is too nice. One of the reasons why we love Akel Island is because it's so quiet and so beautiful, of course. Like, our van is there and we are literally on our own. There's sheep over there, the sea, and that's it. So where do you want to sleep tonight? I heard there's a nice place called Keem. <laughs> so yeah. we've just spent the day driving around Akel and Keem is like 20 minutes from here but it's the nicest place for sunrise and everything so we'll probably just go back to Keem. Keem part three? Part three! <laughs> so we have just arrived for the third time to Keem Beach and we're gonna spend the night here because we just love this place too much. <laughs> Good morning. So today we are waking up really early to see the sunrise here at Kim Beach. Shane is already at the beach and he's setting up the chairs for us. Let's go. The sun has just come out and this is absolutely stunning. Such a beautiful sunrise, but I'm not gonna lie, it's freezing. We're so, so cold. It is absolutely freezing. <laughs> the, the sun was delayed by like 10 minutes because it's massive big cloud came. <laughs> yeah. I can't feel my hands. I could honestly just look at this all day, like these views. The white sands, the blue water, the mountains, the blue skies. This place is a dream. So to break up the journey home, we are going to stop at a coastal walk right outside of Akil Island. arrived at Clagan Mountain Coastal Trail. It's a two kilometer loop and it takes about 25 minutes to complete. So let's go see this walk and then we'll be back at the road. We're back in the van after our walk. I hope you enjoyed exploring Akel Island with us. If you've enjoyed the video, like and subscribe, check out this video here, or if not, YouTube thinks that you will enjoy this video here. Bye.